What's up, guys? How's it going, mech heads? We are here on the last day of 2017. What, what? Only three weeks until God Gundam makes his appearance in Gundam Versus. And best believe there will be a spotlight for God Gundam and Master Gundam the moment they drop. <laughs> but that's not what we're here for. We are here for Gundam Death Scythe. Gundam Death Scythe is from Gundam Wing, an amazing anime which a lot of people know about here in the west due to Toonami and their amazingness Death Scythe Hell is an amazing Gundam that is in Gundam Versus very fun to play very excited to do this spotlight let's get into it so where can you find Gundam Death Scythe Hell well not in my favorites tab <laughs> maybe in your favorites tab but not in my favorite tab um, Death Scythe Hell is a 300 cost pure fighting type a lot like the Ultron Gundam, which we've covered. Death Scythe Hell will cost you or your team 300 points upon death each time you respawn. So if you notice, a couple other Gundams in the Gundam Wing tab are 300, and a few others are pure fighting types. Since Death Scythe is a pure fighting type, it is mostly recommended to go with Blaze Gear for the active lock-on, the extended damage, boost all that stuff but it's truly up to you which gear you want to choose they both have their own benefits play around with both see which one you feel comfortable with getting into death Scythe's command list and seeing what's here and what's not here since i forget to do it sometimes uh, death Scythe has a vulcan cannon for its ranged the twin beam scythe if you haven't noticed is for its melee <laughs> You can throw the beam scythe by charging up your ranged button. He has the buster shield, the hyper jammer, and the active cloak attack. And of course, the burst, as always. Getting into movement first, uh, Death Scythe does not have any external boosters like, say, Tall Geese, so there are no, say, custom boosting animations. But Death Scythe has pretty good boost management if you're trying to move around the field. He also has an additional move that closes in on his opponents. So your R2, which is the active cloak attack, will close down the wings, dash forward, and kick. It has 100 points of health, but we'll get back to that later. The Vulcan Cannon on Death Scythe's headpiece, or head unit, uh, is a machine gun type which will fire in the direction you're facing which can be quite complicated since it's hard to see where Death Scythe's head is facing due to its wing shields so always keep in mind that you have to be at least facing the direction or at least facing to the side to where Death Scythe's head can turn and face the target in order to hit them with the Vulcan Cannon since it is a machine gun, it needs a multiple hits to score a knockdown. The charge is also a ranged attack. Death Scythe L1 or AB for arcade users will shoot the Buster Cannon, stunning the enemy. L2 or AC will activate the cloaking, which cuts all tracking as long as you are invisible. R2 or BC does the active cloak attack, which we were talking about earlier. It has 100 points of health. It will deflect incoming projectiles to a certain extent. After that, it has a cooldown. Both the active cloak and the act, both the cloaking and the active cloak attack have a long cooldown. So keep that in mind. Getting into the melee attacks. The other side has an interesting variation to all, almost all of his attacks, where if you press back and melee, he'll go into this churning butter type of stabbing motion with the bottom of the scythe. Forward and melee will go into a grapple, unlike the neutral combo, which we saw a moment ago. The forward melee attack grapple can be done up to three times in succession. If you clip the animation by dashing forward, you can do it again and do it again and do it again. This animation can also be clipped by the back and melee stabbing 
weird animation that he has. <laughs> Which, if you press multiple times, press the, if you press the melee multiple times, you will keep stabbing your opponent. Back and melee neutral will do a hopping downward slash, which I have seen is able to jump over some projectiles, but not all projectiles. Getting into these side combos with Death Scythe. The side combos are pretty good. You have a pretty good rush in, multiple hits, does a lot of damage. One of my favorite combos, well, favorite inputs, not combos, but can also be done with the back or down and melee during the combo. Death Sight's dash attack or boost attack does a interesting stun where you flip over your opponent, stunning them leaving them helpless and open for more attacks or extended combos. It's a very good attack, especially if you want to get rear damage, because rear damage does slightly more damage than when you're facing them head on. Or if you even just need to stun and escape, or stun and use them as a human shield, <laughs> which is something I love to do make them make their teammate shoot them while they're trying to attack you it's very fun uh during death Scythe's gear activation there are no additional attacks or additional combos or extended animations like um exia or barbados <clears throat> even though death Scythe is a pure fighting type just doesn't have any extended animations or extended combos Death Scythe Burst is an interesting attack that can be done from mid, close, and long range where he throws the scythe forward. Once the scythe connects, he dashes forward cloaked and hits the opponent once. It does a lot of damage and it's very quick. Death Scythe is an assassin type Gundam, so it makes sense why it's one attack that does a lot of damage. And that's it. That is it for the spotlight. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. This is an intro video to show you what Death Scythe has to offer you right off the bat and what the initial inputs are. If you're looking for more advanced videos or advanced tutorials, um, please check out some of the other YouTube YouTubers like Minato vs. Triflosion, Sky Slam, uh, JDG King. There are a bunch of options out there when you're looking for advanced tips, advanced strategies, and combos. As always, in the description below will be more tech tips, more information, videos, tutorials, and more from other people in other places and where to get more information. If you are a veteran, and you feel like you want to add on to the video by adding some advanced tech tips, combos, or information, please feel free in the comments below. And as always, hope to see you guys out on the battlefield and Happy New Year's.